Hello dear children. Welcome back to Chilau Zonal English Channel. I am Harsha Hetya Rachi, representing English Unit Zonal Education Office, Chilau. Today we are going to discuss one of the novels for all level literature. You offer Bringing Tony Home by Tissa Abe Seker, subtitled a story in three movements. Lamai, four chapters in this novel, you instead you have movements, three movements. First of all, I would like to introduce the contents of my presentation. First, we will be dealing with the introduction to the novella. Next, we will be discussing the socio-economic backdrop, the author, the structure to the novel, the setting, the plot overview of the novel, characterization, themes and issues of the novel, literary techniques used by the writer, and last of all, discussion of questions. So, we will be dealing with the introduction to the novel first. The novel has the context of typical Sri Lankan context. The context of the novel is typical Sri Lankan. Now, children, you also have two other novels offered to all level literature. The Vendor of Sweets by R.K. Narayan, which has the Indian context. The other one, Prince and the Pauper by Mark Twain which is of the English, British context. Next, this is not a novel. This is categorized as a novella because this novel is a short one with less than 50,000 words. It is just like a long short story. So this is the female version of the novel. So it is a novella. When it comes to the speciality of this novel, it wins the Gratian Prize for Literature in 1996. When it comes to the episodes, the whole story is a flashback. The whole story is a flashback. And so it is a autobiography based on the true life experience of the author. The novel is also an autobiography about the narrator's first-hand experience of his life. The point of view is first-person first perspective. The most important thing, the subject matter of the novel, which is sincere affection between a child and his pet dog. That is the matter, that is the conflict discussed in the novel. Next, I am moving to the motif. Motif means Lamai, the recurring theme, the repeated theme of the novel, rather novella. Motif is one's nostalgia for one's own past. Here we have the narrator's sorrow of losing his beautiful childhood that is his nostalgia for his past he suffers losing his beautiful childhood even at the age of 60 the novel was written in 1996 it was first first edition was published in 1998 now we are moving to the next part now when it comes to the forward, forwards being written by Reggie Sirivardhana. He says, no other first novel in English by a Sri Lankan writer that I know has given evidence of so much maturity. Maturity in understanding of experience. Maturity in the deployment of language and fictional form. Now as he says, this is the first novel in English written by a Sri Lankan writer 
which was able to move him, which was in which we found maturity, maturity in understanding. Me muhukuragi lakshane, right? His Abhayasekar has been able to apply maturity in understanding of his experience and maturity in the deployment or employment of language and fictional form in the novel. So, this is a unique novel according to the foreword written by Reji Sirvardhana. Now, I am moving on to the post script written by Michael Ondajet. He says, we hold on to favorite books for reasons that are not universal. Each word and sentence in this one carried me into his into arms I would I had been in before. No other book brings me as close to my lost self. Children, his idea is that the theme in this novel is universal. And each word and sentence carried him into his beautiful childhood. Uh, unlike other novels, he went into his lost self, to his childhood. Go into the second paragraph. It is a lost classic for me, too, because of the book's quick fate, published in Sri Lanka by a small press. It has so far not been published anywhere else. It was a story written far from the publishing centers of the West End. There it remains, still lots, lost to the rest of the world. His idea is that the book shows the quick fate of the narrator's life. But other readers throughout the world has not the opportunity to enjoy the book and go to their childhood and enjoy in their past. Now I am moving to the next slide where we will be dealing with socio-economic background. Post-colonial days of Sri Lanka just after Sri Lanka gained freedom from colonialists. Uh, when it comes to the novel, the socio-economic backdrop is so much important because it is the socio-economic backdrop which influences the novel to be written by the writer. It was post-colonial days, that means after the British Empire in Sri Lanka, after Sri Lanka gained freedom from colonialists in 1948. But there was still that influence, particularly urban people were influenced by Western culture. As a result, their traditional life was changed. Meanwhile, the conventional life of rural masses remained unchanged because they were not that influenced by colonists. So, it was a matter of socialization to the narrator's family when they shifted from the middle class life to the low class life. If you have read the novel, if you have studied the novel, you find the narrator's family has to shift from the middle class life in Depanam and to Egodavatta where they had a low class life, they became poor. So it was a matter of socialization. Okay. We are moving to the next slide. Even after independence, colonialists were still present. The local people were highly influenced by Western culture, uh, especially city people, town people. They were addicted to, they were addicted to beef and smoking and alcohol. Also, 
social issues emerged for is for instance for an instance Pranel's mother was said to have some affair with the white soldiers in the RAF camp so she is interpreted as a prostitute Pranel the narrator's immediate friend his mother was said to have said to have an affair with the soldiers white soldiers in the royal air force camp so she was a prostitute most of the local people could not afford to buy a car so they had to travel in bullock carts most of the middle class people were converted their religion into christianity because the governance was done by british people white empire so middle class people and high class people in the country had that inferiority complexion hinamane so what they did was that they wanted to be superior like white people and uh, they converted their religion into christianity they used to they began to live like white soldier white people english medium education was given priority traditional rituals were still performed in devala village people still had that had their socio uh, society centered lifestyle village people still had society centered lifestyle they were not selfish they were society centered and when it comes to people in the town were shifting into that individual centered life like that of white people uh, which was selfish now i am moving to discuss the structure of the novel the structure of the novella the plot plot means lamai the narrative the story is divided into three movements which represent three ty- different time periods of the narrator's life uh, the novel is divided into three movements not to chapters not to number of chapters the three movements discuss different time periods of the narrator's life isabe sekar's life the first movement titled the sunset which depicts the narrator's adult life as a filmmaker the sunset depicts the narrator's adult life as a filmmaker the second movement is tony it represents the narrator's teenage years as a restless stubborn and adventurous kid the last moment is titled the little train it discusses the narrator's life as a young adult where the narrator begins to school in now we will be dealing with the setting children the setting includes time place environment and the impression of the writer time is lamai twilight half light combination of the encounter between night and darkness that is where novel begins which signs that novel will come to an end in a tragedy hedwachakiki navasan vevi because after twilight is dark night after evening is night night in literature represents separation death sorrow so here you will be able to find separation also death in the end okay next segment place when the first movement opens the narrator is driving his car out of the television 